Hi collector fans and welcome to the channel on today's video. Oh, it's a new one. Yeah, I thought I'd do a video on something I've sort of something I've never done before. I collect mostly Star Wars. I've got a bit of He-Man, bit of G.I. Joe, bit of Batman, bit of bits and pieces. But have you ever sort of looked for your collection and noticed if you've got any one-off figures, like one from a whole series, and you've never you've never bought any more, you've just got the one and never progressed so I went through my collection and I've picked out some of the figures I didn't realize I've got some odd figures only one and I've never like finished the wave or never really bothered to get any more just that one figure I really like and it's it's, it's like you've picked one out and so yeah I, I sort of challenge anyone else that after I've done this video to go for your collection and just see if you can find like a one-off figure from your collection see how many you've got and then just do a little video on it so I've picked about, I think I've got about 10 here figures I've found that was just one off. So I'm going to just have a talk about them and why I got them and yeah, and why I found them and stuff. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and enjoy the video. Welcome everyone to my one off figure collection. Yeah, <laughs> so I thought this was, uh, would be an interesting little video to do. I've been thinking about it for a while actually. I sort of looked and went, hang on, I've only got one of them. I've only got one of them. <laughs> I've never bought the next one or the set or anything. I've just stuck with that one figure out of the way. I think a lot of probably people, if you go and look at your collections, you've probably got a one-off figure from a from a range and or you've never better find the rest or just luckily come across it. So I do challenge you to everyone to to find a one-off figure in your collection. Maybe do a video like this, you know. So yeah, we're going to have a look at all these different figures, and I'll just have a quick talk about them. And uh, yeah, so let's crack on. So first I'm going to start off with this Green Goblin. <laughs> it's the only sort of comic book Spider-Man figure I've actually got. I haven't got any Marvel at all. I've got a couple of uh, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, the actual MC, you know, the probably movie version figures. But this is probably the only comic book sort of character I've actually got a Marvel it's weird isn't it I mean I'm really, I like to have got a couple more but I've only ever just been this one really drew me in I don't know why and I mean a lot of people say they don't like the way the eyes are painted on this figure I mean for one reason I've never actually taken it out but I should get it out it's the, it's the only like one-off figure I've got and uh, but I just the presentation is the colors and yeah it just really drew me in i do it's just such a nice i love these big carded figures they're great and of course you know really <laughs> we're going to lose all these bubbles now so it's like do i take it off or just keep it i, I do like it it's such a great cool looking figure okay that's the first one a green goblin <laughs> Okay, next in the uh, one-off is the uh, Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. I've only got this, I picked this one up at Forbidden Planet, I think. I had the whole wave there, and this was my favourite character. The uh, the pod people, Hup, Hup, with his, uh, with his magical spoons. <laughs> he was such a cool character. I think he was the best thing in it. I really love this series, and it's a shame, isn't it, that they just said, that's it, just the one-off. But it was great. I mean, if you love the original film, which I do, I've got on Blu-ray. You know, look at all these other figures that I missed out on. Oh, really shame. I'd love to have got some more of these figures. But it's another one of my one-off collection. I've just got the, my favourite. I think that's what it is, isn't it? You buy a one-off that's your favourite. Next, this is a pickup I had ages ago. I think I've shown this but these are amazing these hacks hack figures by uh, boss fight studios they're great aren't they they're just you know if you're a big if you're a big um harry Housden sort of fan you know love all those clash of the titans and uh, all those other sort of films you know this is this draws you in these are awesome the skeletons uh, you get all these bits with them and they're great and the selection the waves of figures these are so expensive now, and I've, I'd love to collect some more of these. I'd like to get a Medusa, you know. I've seen he does a Medusa. I'd like to get one of those. 
Okay, now we're going to go into some of the looser collection. <laughs> so I've got stuff I've picked up, one-offs, and this so I've picked up. This is it the uh, Ed 209, but it's not Ed 209. It's Ed to something else I've not forgotten now I didn't know sh I remembered it on my pickup I think it was Ed 260 or something it's got a different number than the one in the actual film but this is <clears throat> this is a Kano one it's great I love this thing just a one off I gave it a bit of a clean and touch up in places and it's got this original you put the I still have not bought the caps you put the caps in it and you're supposed to fire it off but it's just great for display seeing one of these in sort of Kano display is brilliant it still clicks just looks good on display i've never actually bought the figure to go with it a robocop figure which is strange isn't it <laughs> okay next we have a one-off a thundercat this is the only thundercat i have i don't have any of the original thundercats i used to have some of them a long time ago but i've sort of passed them on i got my board or i changed my collection but i've kept this guy as a classic i came across it I think they tried to do this new range and it sort of died. They only did like two figures and uh, it just didn't work for some reason. But okay, uh, the muscles and stuff on it are quite cool, but it's very, it does, the joints are very loose. As I've already touched it. It's been out of the package. It just stands there. But yeah, it's just, it's not the best for posing. It just wants to drop. See, look, it just wants to fall. The, these, these knee joints here are not the best. But he looks great and it's just something to some i mean i love the thundercats cartoon i was a big fan of it big fan of it i loved it and uh i keep saying i'd like to go back to buy some uh thundercats again or they maybe they re, you know they're trying to re-release them aren't they but they're very expensive but this is a great sort of shows my affection for thundercats really this one figure i think I like to get Panthro. I was a bit of a pal of Panthro. Yeah, everyone's favourite is one of Panthro's. But I just love this gold claw. It's a great figure, isn't it? I love it. Good stance. Here's another one off recent purchase <laughs> the new Batman. Patterson Batman. Yeah, this is the only DC sort of multiverse figure I've uh, actually got now. I had a few. I got rid of them um but this one i bought recently got it out of the box i don't usually get many things out of the box but this I had to get this one out i do think he needs maybe a touch of i've seen people that do do some weather into this but he's fine as he is and uh we'll hopefully we'll get another batman film in the future and maybe they'll hope will they change it up a little bit the armor we're, we're bound to see a little bit of modification in the armor aren't we an upgraded costume but yeah great film that's a great figure yeah my next figure i've picked this up a while ago and i've been gradually adding to it finding bits i think i found rambo with all his belts and a knife but no weapons so of course i picked the the main this main gun up for like this is quite an easy gun to find on ebay I, think I picked him up for a couple of quid and it come with some other bits um it came with a new knife yeah i already had a knife with it but the knife was like a chewed end so i bought that and it came with one of those uh one of those knife blade things i think you need two of those but i've got the one and then eventually i found the bazooka yeah i held out and held out and held out and then someone put one on ebay i think it was like 10 pound i think but it was missing the string i've put the string on I've added this bit of string myself because there's a spring in there there's no locking mechanism it's weird you're supposed to pull the pull the string down and tie it around the bottom of the gun but yeah had to get a rambo figure such a cool figure in it <laughs> and i love the original first film it's such an awesome film let me say with vintage dave he's got all these great figures and uh, it's great watching his videos on all the different characters definitely like the guy with the the dome i can't remember his name now the red that i love that figure that's such a that would be a cool figure to find i don't think i'll ever get one but yeah i just love the, the necklace on it and it's just a great thing isn't it it's just a, represents stallone in a way as well i've always wanted a stallone figure i've got one now that's such a great call cool, of the time the period 
Oh, you can stand there. Yes, look at that. <laughs> yes, here we go. We've got another one-off figure from the Aquaman. So we've got Manta, Black Manta. I loved it. I loved that film. It was great. I just wish this guy was in it a lot more. It was a bit of a... He had a bit of a bad ending to him. I mean, I, I think the rumours are he survived. There is a sort of cut scene. He gets found and they've changed his costume for the new new film i think he's got the more the the black or the gold or silver dome he's looking more comic book i did like this look though it looked really cool he was sort of using atlantean sort of uh, tech mixed with his with a black i did love it it was such a cool thing and hopefully we'll get to see him more this was a bait one of the basic figures i think it was like a 10 pound figure and i had to get it so yeah you get the sword blade coming out got the jets on the back there but yeah, hopefully we'll get to see more of him in the next film. That was a real shame, cutting him out of the first film so much. But wasn't he cool, wasn't he cool? Okay, here we go. This is sort of a He-Man figure. But you say, well, Matt, you've got loads of He-Man figures. But this is from the new adventures of He-Man. And I've, this is the only one I've ever got. And uh, can, like complete, and he's got the gun and... I love this, he's like, oh, look at this, ooh, ooh. follows you around the room. <laughs> I just loved it, Opt Optics, Optics his name is, just this eyeball guy. I don't think I actually really watched the cartoon, I've never really sort of, but he really looks cool. <laughs> don't know why, I just like that big eye, gold helmet robot thing, it looks brilliant. Okay, next we got a 3.75 figure. So we got a Tron figure, Rizzler, Riz, Rinzer, Rinzer. Oh, forgot, oh, come on, Matt, you should know his name. Well, he really is. He really is Tron, isn't he? But it's a different. Was it a French guy who played him as like a stunt guy? But did all the stuff. But yeah, that's such a cool. Yeah, it's the only one I've actually got. Sort of, I had to get him because he's such a cool looking figure from the film. And of course, you really, yeah, say that the emblem on there shows that he's actually Tron. That's cool. Two discs. But yeah, I loved that. Loved the film. Hopefully, we'll get a third film one day. I do love a bit of Tron. <laughs> now, I picked this guy up recently, actually, when I was on holiday in Devon. Yeah, Ovian. Ovian. <laughs> he's missing his, um, he's got like a netting, hasn't he? That's always gone. And uh, I thought about making a new bit of netting, but yeah, I love it. It's got four, one, two, three, four arms. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so, had to get it. It's the only Battlestar Galactica figure I want. So, it's nice to look. I like the aliens, and it's uh, you can blend them in with your cantina, can't you? Or whatever. If you do a display, a nice alien bug. It's got some interesting details on there. Always trying to find it with these eyes like this because I've seen a lot of these with the, the yellows faded. So he's quite a good nick. Yeah, it was not bad for five pound. I think I picked him up for a nice little thing to remember on holiday. Okay, next we've got the shadow. The can this is a Kenner figure. I love this. Look, if you get the light hitting the top of his, because he's got this like red dome bit on the top. See, look, the eyes, the glow. I love that. I just love... That was a great film. Like Alec Baldwin did it. And it didn't do very well, did it? Ian McKellen was in it. Didn't... Oh, it's a shame. I actually got it on Blu-ray because it's quite... You can't get it in the UK on Blu-ray. I don't think you could when I got it. I had to get an import. And uh, I love the film. And this is... You got that. You put... You squeeze the... Squeeze the legs together. Ooh, quick draw. <laughs> Yeah, I bought this. The card was absolutely mullered, so I, I'm sorry, but I took it off the, out of the card. It was just destroyed, and it, I think it looked better out of the card. And uh, I think there's a lot of these going. Around. There's a translucent uh, shadow figure. I must, I must keep saying I'm going to buy it, but then, oh, that would be more than one. Then <laughs> it won't be a one-off figure in my collection anymore. So yeah, look at that. Those eyes, Ooh, they're good, aren't they? We get the light on them there, it glows up. Yeah, and all this sort of lifts, you can take the cape off. You get some many versions of this figure. You get some vehicles as well, 
taxi, I think it was a taxi you could get, and Shadow had a car, the taxi's better. And then you had a little of the baddies. But yeah, and you could slot the guns in, in, in the in the side there, which is quite cool. And these are really sort of over the top like eagles, and they desert eagle guns. <laughs> It wouldn't be right without mentioning, of course, my favourite figure, a War Duke. I know I've had this one in a long time. The only Dungeons and Dragons figure I've actually got. <laughs> I've never got around to actually buying any more. This is the version two with the with the uh, lever on the back. The original version didn't have this action, so you can. Oh, you got this sort of coming up. There we go. He's got his uh, swinging action. But you can find these figures, you can still find them quite easily, complete, so yeah, carded, not so easy. But he's such a cool figure, and Necker of re-releasing this figure, and it looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for that, I've pre-ordered it, we only pre-ordered him, and I can't wait. I've seen more pictures of the new paint job on him, and he still looks amazing. I just can't wait to get that figure and review it. So, yes, but this guy needs a horse. <laughs> I need to find that horse. Have you noticed on my, uh, on the Linton Toy Museum, he was actually riding a horse in one of the cabinets, which is cool. So, yes, I must get him a horse one day. <laughs> okay, I thought I'd finish off with one of the smallest little toys I've got. Yeah, a little wind-up robot. I don't know. This is a Tomy, made by Tomy. Little rascal thing, I think they're called. You can get these in various colours. I think the dome's in different colours. It's just a little wind up, little wind up robot. I don't know if he. Let's see if he still. See if he still works. Look at that. He still works a bit. <laughs> oh, his feet are moving. But yeah, he's just cute. And yeah, I like collecting little robots. So I've got a few of the Playmobil robots now. I was show them, but I've got two now. So that's, that defeats the object. I've got more than one. So, But this guy's on his own. I've never had any more. <laughs> okay, I just want to say a big thank you to all some my subscribers. A big thank you to my channel members. Big thank you to my Patreons. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave some great comments, and I will see you on the next video. Okay then, see you later, bye.